Drumvan and Upper Church communities and Templetary in North Tipperary have already made significant inroads towards becoming energy self-sustaining communities. Typically, less than 1% of the energy that we consume in our local communities in Ireland is produced locally. That's for heat, power and transport. All this badly needed money is drained away from our local economies and it denies us of jobs. I'm here in Drumban in County Tipperary and I'm going to see how this local community has come together to solve this problem and build resilience. It's great to see the Drumban Upper Church Energy Team coming together and creating this initiative. So is the rising cost of energy a big issue here for the community? Yeah, true. We actually did a survey in the community and we found that there was a million euros spent in energy for heating our homes for 400 houses. So um, we thought that if we could see, save even 20 to 25 percent of that, we would be keeping 250,000 in the community and creating jobs within the community as well. So the idea was to retrofit the houses, keep the energy in so that we're reducing the energy demand. I think it's fantastic. Plus the fact that we have in this year now we're doing retrofit on 28 houses and it's been done by local a local company which is fantastic like you know when a community works together as a cooperative they can all partake and share in various funding incentives to finance these projects and build a cost-effective economy of scale if you're only doing one in this way not only do they all benefit as a community but they also get the work done to a higher quality and at a lower cost than if they were doing so individually. So um, over the last 18 months we've invested 400,000 and that's from home homeowners investing in their own properties and with a grant of 300,000 from SEAI. Um, it's a fabulous initiative that could be rolled out in all communities all over the country. Well this is a real self-help uh, project from a community from the bottom up and our job is to be out there in communities helping them develop projects like this. And uh, of course, as well as saving energy and on their fuel costs, home heating, they're also um, reducing their carbon emissions. And the community then is able to sell those carbon credits to Electric Ireland, which will be an extra source of income for this community group. Marcella, what sort of message would you like to get out to other communities? I just think that it's just a massive project for such a small community. And I mean, if we can do it, 50 houses over 18 months, any, any community can do it. So, Noel, is this your house here? Yes. Uh, this as well as being a technically efficient way to insulate a house, external retrofit can also match any architectural style. Noel has been able to replicate all the traditional features of his Irish cottage. South facing back garden over that wonderful view. So, obviously, you've brought your energy bills down quite dramatic, have, they, have you? Well, we've had to use very little heating at all in the house between the end of summer and now. I think we've only had a fire going every second or third night because even at now, at this point, it's starting to warm up and maintain the heat that we have already in there. One of the things we need to increase further, that's already happening in Europe, is the cultivation of sources for renewable fuel. This will help reduce Ireland's carbon emissions and create local employment in communities. About 90 euros a tonne. 90 euros a tonne, right, okay. And that's a lot cheaper now than oil, isn't it? Much cheaper, yes. Much cheaper. So it's really cost effective, yeah? It is, it is indeed. And as well as that, it keeps the money in, in this locality rather than uh, sending it out to our friends in the Middle East or God knows where else. Absolutely. And have you got much forestry in the area here as a resource? Uh, this place is uh, full of forestry. Uh, there must be a thousand acres in this uh, medium sized parish alone. Right, so you've got a huge resource now of, of wood energy here. We have indeed. Harvesting forest thinning, energy crops and biogas and producing them within the community. This is best done at a local level and would benefit everybody. And is this the local fuel you've got here by it the is, way? It's See our this own here? fuel actually. Yeah. This is our own fuel. Yes. Right. 
nice and dry. Nice and dry. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And have you got have you got any have you got a farm here by the way? We have. Yes, my yeah. son has a farm here. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you've got some forestry on your land, have you? We have you? forestry on our land. Yes. And we great. have our own timber, which would be great. Right. Uh, that is very economic now. I'd only burn a few little blocks in the night time. You see that little basket there now. If that's I had a, a full of that, I wouldn't even have an empty in the morning. This one here. Yes. That's enough for you here, yeah. Yes. Wow. It's very economic now. Right. I removed from the equation. In nearby Temple Derry, a local community has undertaken a massive project. They formed their own energy company and raised capital to develop Ireland's first community-owned wind farm. The wider community of North Tipperary are very active in paving the way for this type of advancement. In nearby Upper Church, I'm meeting Paul Kenny of the Tipperary Energy Agency. Paul's team have been very active in advising and helping the communities in North Tipperary. So that's a, a two turbine, 4.6 megawatt wind farm. It's totally locally owned by 30 individuals um, who came together back in 2001 and said, we'd like to build a wind farm. We'd like to build some, some wind turbines um, and we'd like to, to generate renewable energy from their own free energy supply because it's a, an upland area. And they, they really went around the whole community and canvassed to see who wanted to invest in, in wind energy in, in their own community. And 30 people decided they wanted to be involved. Is this the first community-owned wind farm in Ireland? Yeah, the first operational community wind farm in Ireland. Right. So we're very proud of it. Yeah. The economics of projects like this makes total sense. This project cost 6.2 million euro and will return 1.2 million euro per year so it will be repaid in full in six years. The return is then profit for the community that have invested, and the benefits are huge. For rural communities to become energy self-sustaining is certainly the way forward for Ireland. But to do this, each community needs champions and a committed team who will drive these projects forward. On Arran, it's a cooperative, in Drumban and Upper Church, it was the local energy team. The idea of community energy is beginning to catch on.